Hey guys, and welcome back to more No Man's Sky. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Or oh, you guys are early. You just were very early. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I found a freighter. Uh, in between the last stream and this stream, I kind of did a bit of grinding. And why am I in my ship? Okay, I guess I'm in my ship. That's where we should be. And it's loaded from the outer safe, obviously. Um, and it's not the best freighter, it's a C-Class freighter, but every time I was off stream, I got that incident or that scenario where I helped out a freighter and then I didn't want to do it off stream. And I said, oh, Gene, it's, it's the third time I'm missing it now. So to do it on stream. So we're going to do this one off stream, I said, and we're going to work on it now. Roy, how are you? Hello and welcome home. <laughs> welcome to my show. Oh no, I'm only a visitor. <laughs> Oh, how are you, Roy? I hope you're doing well. Uh, Night Reaper, thank you for popping in. You were first indeed. Sad Sardonic second in uh, uh, in there. And uh, Loki, how are you? Okay. Did you meet a pirate dreadnought meanwhile? No, I didn't. I was in the pirate system twice to do some more um, money to nanite conversion. So I have 9,500 now. Um, but, oh, suspicious packet. Oh, I should have sold it there. And we have a suspicious packet. Okay, what is that? All right. And another suspicious tech. Oh, that is brilliant. So these ones we actually want to sell. I'm um, sorry, that came from the pirates that we killed, including this. But yeah, we're selling all that. That's fine. You don't need to level up with the Merchant's Guild anymore. So the last thing I did uh, was uh, kick off. So when you get a freighter, the, the freighter layout is completely different, first of all, compared to the last time I played. The last time I played, when you went... Hang on, this is... Yeah, sorry. Cool. Yeah, the, the layout is very different now. So hang on a second. It's here, opposite. Okay, so this is... The freighter came exactly the way you see it here. So first of all... Before, when I got a freighter, there was nothing existing in the freighter. Everything was just a corridor and you had to start building the rooms, yeah? But now, this is literally how the freighter came. I have like a, a ha like, I don't know, like I suppose a room with harvesting stuff and I have a room with harvesting stuff here. And I have, this in the middle here was one block. I had to build the fleet command. So station, so I just built it here in that big, center thing it just made sense but instead of an empty room in the back we have a nip bud farm is this now standard does every single freighter you encounter now have this this is crazy i'm gonna get arrested if, if, if somebody finds me here with that did you see the eclipse um, no we, we didn't have one here i don't think yeah that was only i think over was it? Did we have one here? I don't know. I missed it. I, I didn't pay attention. So I, I, if it was last night, I wasn't very well last night. That's why I didn't stream. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't have any allergies, but for the first time in my life yesterday, I think I had an allergic reaction to something. I was, I was eating my food and it, was, it wasn't home cooked, so my wife didn't poison me. We ordered food and I ate the same food I ate a million times before. And all of a sudden, my eyes started watering after I was finished. Then everything started hurting below my eyes, and they were just tearing nonstop. And I was like, what the hell is going on? I probably touched my eyeballs or something with, with some of the spice from the food. And I washed out my eyes. I, I went back downstairs, and it just did not stop. It just would not stop. And then everything got very sore on my sinuses, so I just took some uh, medication that makes you a bit sleepy as well and uh, for the antihistamine stuff. And I started getting a runny nose. Then I started feeling like I'm having a full blown cold, like runny nose nonstop. I had to blow my nose, started sneezing. Everything started feeling really sore, even though nothing was swollen. And in the morning, it was fine. I woke up absolutely fine. So I think I must have taken some reaction to some food. But um, my accent sometimes sounds Canadian. <laughs> I'm I'm through and through German. Um, well, I've been living in Ireland now for many many years, so maybe not that pure German anymore. Oh, I'm I'm absolutely fine now. Yeah, I woke up and everything was fine. Yeah. Getting your freighter equipment is far from being standard. 
So are you saying this whole Nipbat farm here and all these uh, plants, like I thought maybe that's after the update they give you that stuff for free. I have no idea. What is this guy? What is he saying about propaganda? What? Okay, Maze was expression. Okay, whatever. So I'm not picking this stuff up because I got arrested for it last time. So I'm, yeah, so is building so different now? We have freighter corridors. Oh, yeah, okay, so we can still build pretty much infinitely as before, I guess. Yeah. So anything up. Oh, we can even build here. That is amazing. That is so cool. So that is still all the same. Okay. Then we have all these rooms. We have the science room, the construction room, the galactic trade. So a cultivation chamber. That is what I basically uh, got now in the freighter. Okay. A refiner room, a weapons terminal. Did we have a refiner room before? I thought before we just put refiners down, like normal refiners. We just plonk them in. Vital integrated freighter equipment. What, 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 what? Freighter equipment. Ah! Stop moving! Stop moving, mouse! Cheaty back! I got a new mouse and it weighs half as much as my current mouse, so when my cable kind of slightly goes off the table in the back, it pulls my mouse. It's like Cheaty Mac, which you put on some pounds. Um, vital in the creative fighter. The freighter refiner allows three different substances. Oh, so it's a big boy refiner. Okay, that's really nice. Yeah. Then the weapons terminal, integrated freighter research equipment. Wow, this is, I, this is all different. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely want storage rooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely want storage. That is so awesome. Um, is that a worry of the wife trying to unalive, you know? <laughs> is there a max number of rooms? I don't think so. I think you can build pretty much infinite out. So I know that anything I build here, clearly you will be able to see from the outside, but uh, and here as well. So maybe it's not infinite, but it's pretty big. Wow, look at all this. This is crazy. So why don't we... Yeah, we're not gonna... Anyway, we have to debrief, uh, debrief our expedition dudes. Fleet command online. Calibrating your fleet commander. Debrief commander. So when you get a freighter, the first thing you have to do, apparently, like which hasn't changed, is send the one ship you have onto a mission and you wait for it to come back. So log entry, 250. Docked at Viking operated space station. Fleet commander requested personal audience. Gathered Viking daggers. Okay. Log entry. Wow, we got 28,000. Oh, I thought they were nanites. I'm like, what? 28,000 nanites. That would be amazing. 22 nanites. Okay, that's like, mm, eh, mm, okay. Visited a trade route on planet Lenny. <laughs> Lenny J11. Oh, wow. Look at this. We made like 50 grand. That is awesome. And that was a shitty ship with like a mission one, a uh, level one mission. Rate the abandoned building of night. So we're finished now, is it? We're finished now with the freighter stuff? I think so. Yes. Ooh, a planet in distress. This came up at the, so, so I was fighting the freighters and after I finished the freighters, the mission popped up to talk to the captain, but at the same time, I got this mission pop up, a planet in distress, and I think this is the settlement missions. This is the kickoff of the settlement settlement uh, uh, DLC, I think. Update. So, but I'm not gonna do this right now, this very minute. Expanding the base, we still I still have to do that. Return to the oh, return to the overseer, base computer archive. Yeah, that's actually why I'm here. I wanted to do that archive thing again because for some reason we did that last time and it just did some weird loop where it didn't complete the quest and it just started again. So that was just a bit odd. So let's see what else can we actually build here. So we have the bulkhead door, we have the freighter corridor, we just seen that. We have the construction specialist room. Okay. This module is placed as an entire room and comes with its functionality units pre-installed. And then we have the galactic trade room. Wow. Before we just simply put a, whatchamacallit, a trade, little trade hub like on the wall and that was it. Why are you saying you have things there if you clearly don't? Okay, whatever. 
and here we have the like what I really would like to do though before I leave the freighter is to at least have the storage room there because that allows me to craft from it oh yeah I need the storage room there and I need an upgrade what's the upgrade I need for it let me see some kind of beacon or something I need on my ship Is it the, the matter beam? That's the one we want. So now we need to find salvaged frigate modules. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, holy shit. Wow. Oh, this is nanites. Oh, just to unlock the colors. It's like 5,000 nanites. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the matter beam, I think, is the most important part. Because that allows us to have the freighter basically, as soon as we build like a storage unit on the freighter that is uh, th that we have stuff in it, with the matter beam, when we then craft, it will automatically access everything from there. So once we have five salvaged uh, thingamabobs, we can uh, make that room and put the matter beam in as well. Okay. Oh yeah, it's H2O, it's absolutely fantastic. The game, I, I'm just saying, if you if you wouldn't know No Man's Sky and you only come across it now, it, it must be amazing to play this game from scratch now, never having, play, having, uh, having played it before. But if you played it obviously on launch, and you have played it ever since, since it was every update, yeah, you probably don't see the updates as as th in the same way, because you, you know yourself, when you see something the whole time, you don't really see it, see the huge difference, but if somebody played it on release day and then played it now, they, it's a world of difference. It's just crazy. Yes, that is my Solar A-Class ship. I, I had to buy it. I had to buy it. It was very cheap, but I want to have a ship of one, one of each type. My custom ship I'm gonna sell again. This is the custom build Explorer, but we're going to have a custom uh, build fighter at some point. So this is my current fighter, but we'll see. It's industrial missions, is it? Oh yeah, maybe I can actually, I have a trader uh, ship in the moment only. So let's actually see if uh, if I can send him on an industrial mission, if there is one even. Hit my head non-stop. There we go. Oh. Oh, we have to do that here. Sorry, yeah, I keep forgetting that. So that used to be different as well. We used to... We needed one room per fleet or something. It was really weird, like, so... See, I think it's him, is it? Okay. So here we have an industrial expedition, but it's a it's a two stars, but you know what? Let's just put our ship in anyway. Even though it's a trade ship. Actually, no, it has two in industry. So uh, in 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 that icon, that's actually pretty cool. So it is a level two, which means it should be enough for that. Very nice. Um yeah, great. And now, did I did I sign it? Yes, I did. And now I have to go and start the mission. What do you mean? I thought I signed it. Ah, oh, I forgot to press the button, did I? Yeah, okay. I actually got a free code for No Man's Sky in competition, probably would have never even have bought it. <laughs> um, what do you mean I will lose my frigate? Uh, how will I lose my frigate? I just did it. I just did it the same way. Well, I got it for free, so it's okay. But uh, why would I lose it? I have the I have the required um, strength. Launch expeditions, yeah. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be in our planet, so it's gonna be fine. We're not moving our frigate, and nobody will attack. 
uh, if center frigates was lower level than missions you will lose them oh, okay i don't know yeah we, we get a new one in a second like we, we're gonna hire someone he's only a c-class ship anyway so we're gonna get better ships in a second um speak with commander i actually never lose lo lost one so if we lose it that's okay it would be interesting to see you see this is this is c-class i'm i would sell them anyway um in the beginning because we have a lot of money we get we get a a class or an s class straight up I don't know if I need to build something on my ship, but I think you can just fly up to a ship and talk to it, and uh, that's it. And then you can hire them. Well, you not you can you can let them go. As far as I know, you you you, you can tell them to go away. Like I don't know if you can sell them, but you definitely, as far as I know, you can definitely tell them to disappear. Stinging butt munch. Yeah, because look, it has like two uh, little stingers in the front. So it's a, it's a stinger. And it stings you in the butt. So because we're in the same system, we now in have the freighter here. So we can access our, well, we can't really access our freighter, but when we have now storage on the freighter, we can access the storage here as well. Now here it says the freighter is out of range because we don't have the matter beam installed. Um, so there's that problem. But um, anyway, it's a slow, it's a slow, slow burn. Oh, this is my base. What? Look at the archive from last night. Let me just go here for a second. I need a name for my ship, but I don't know yet what I want to name it, so... Um, I didn't realize that was not the mission, but I... Mm, okay. Hang on. Where is my mission then? Base computer, search archive data, visit archive terminal, remote, yeah. I thought that was the icon we're following. Okay, is that a new system? Yes, I love it. New system. It means we can get exosuit pieces, which I desperately need. And we might still find a, we might find a paradise planet that we can put a little temporary uh, base claim on. Oh, nice! Oh! What the hell is happening? What am I to do? Okay. Wow, what the hell is going on? Whoa, what is this? Definitely have to make a screenshot of this. Sorry, it's just when you get the opportunity in this game, you just gotta have to make those screenshots, you know? It's crazy. Nice. 
So I think we have to... Oof. Where's all the turrets? No, no, don't use auto, tur auto target here. Are these turrets? Where, where are the turrets? Ow! Go one. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, what is going on? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, my ship just keeps... Oh yeah, I keep pressing E, that's why. Okay, I don't know why my, my ship goes so feckin' ape shit, like, with, mo with movement. I, tr I press a little bit left, and it's going completely... Um, I have no idea what's going on. We're just taking our time, slowly taking everything out we need to take out. Ah! Stupid movement! Come on! I can only stand in one spot and shoot. I cannot move and shoot. I'm incapable. My ship must be absolutely bollocks. they kill all of them because then there's gonna be free loot um so anyway sorry yeah i can't pause this game either like so i can't uh, let me let me look at chat and um, fly into it the ship may be yours instead of a freighter it didn't destroy the engines oh okay so you destroy the engines so they can't walk away, and then you destroy all its cannons, I guess, or whatever. Yeah, that is really awesome. Like, in general, it looks really cool. So, let me see. These guys here, are they all dead?
Oh, sorry. It was an accident. Don't attack me. So theoretically, if they're all now without a leader, then I should be able to take the cargo. Ooh, unrefined pirate crease. Uh, before I attack them, though, let me see. Are they completely destroyed? As in, can I not fly into them or anything? Where's the lead ship? Do they not have a lead frigate? Okay, let's attack it and see what happens. Okay, I'm not being punished. Did I get anything? I don't think I got the loot. I'm not being chased, so why am I not getting the loot? Oh, okay, it's probably because they were killed by someone else. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. Ah, what a pity. Oh, that would be so nice. Oh, no loot. Yeah, I suppose in a way it makes sense, because why would they want to reward you for basically just letting the pirates kill them so i guess the pirates kind of took everything um so next time fly into the dreadnought destroy all the generators they were the round little bubbles that i destroyed one or two of them yeah uh, they will expose fuel rods destroy them too proceed with the engines and shield generators all will be displayed uh, and marked finally destroy anti-freighter cannons the big ones not the small ones and finally, Pyro will give up and you will have a Dreadnought instead of a Freighter. That's awesome. Yeah, I th that was amazing. I was like, what the hell is happening? So the movement control is really odd, yeah? So it was a bit slow for me. So what I did is the flight, I put it up from 20% to 100. And now it's too, it's too fast, yeah? So the default value is too slow, but even though I don't have tethering, uh, tethered control, tethered control is awful. Um, it still feels like I'm tethering. That is the problem. I, it still feels like I'm slightly tethering. The ship does not move with my mouse. It moves slightly behind my mouse. Yeah, that, that is awesome. That, that was an awesome encounter. Like, no idea what went on. It's a pity we can't loot the other stuff, though. Well, yeah, we didn't take too much damage from the, from the guys shooting at us. Um, because they were busy fighting with someone else, I guess. So well, let's see what system here. Let's get the exosuit piece. Daniel, how are you? Um, I th yeah, I think we have enough space for here right now. So let's get caught up on here. Okay. Oh yeah, and let me sell the. Mm. 
Ooh, what do we have here? What multi-tool do we have here? A B-class? Oh, that already has a lot of slots unlocked. Only plaster, okay. And what do you have over here? Mr. Guild member. Do you have any frigate modules? No, you have sentinel bound maps. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, nice. That's for free. Appreciate that. Thank you. Ooh, face beam. I think I'm using a face beam in the moment in my starship. And I want to sell this and. Actually, I'm gonna sell these as well. And I wanna sell these, and this can stay in my ship. We're gonna uh, very quickly now uh, create um, a, a freighter storage so that we can put all that stuff into the freighter storage. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay. That's the repair kits that we go into the ship. Yes, navigational data. That is awesome. I didn't realize that we could find that here. Okay, let's sell the units. Ugh. I don't know why they put a guy here every time in front of the shop. I keep clicking on it. Um, actually, yeah, here, go. Have that. Do I have any more to give to you? I think so. I think I have five or six. Here you go. That reputation up upgraded. I think that's it. Maybe one more. Yeah, okay, that has to be it, though. Side into the uh, anomaly. Ooh. Explorer. Let's see if there's an exotic in this system. I don't think so because uh, I think the system is not a rich system. But let's quickly reload and see if there's an exotic gonna land here. Um, every Sentinel ship I get is the same, just different colors. There are different ones, right? Apparently there are, uh, Tren. But for me, for example, the one I have, I was in one system that had two different planets with Sentinel, um, aggressive Sentinels, where I could get those, um, you know, where you shoot the, what are they called? Yeah, the, the mirrors, you shoot the mirrors and you have a chance of getting an echo for a location of a ship. And I did that for on two different planets in the same system, yeah? And I got this exact ship five times. I sold all the other ones, yeah? The only difference was that this one was a B-class, the other ones were all C-classes, yeah? So, and, and that was between two different planets. So that means that, to me, that indicates that the, the whole system, no matter what planet in the system you go to, they all are the same ships, unless you get, obviously, that unique location if that exists in that system, yeah, which has like a unique one. But otherwise, I would say on the baseline, it seems that whatever system you're in, they all have the same ship baseline. If that is the same one all the time or a different type being the baseline per system, I don't know. Well, planets don't matter um, if it's the same system. So if you have five planets in the same location you're in without warping, 
they're all gonna have the same ship from what I understand. Well, from my experience. So if you go to a different, if you warp to a different system altogether, you might get a different design. But I think there's about four or five different designs. Most of them are probably the same because there's this base and then you have the unique ones, which are very hard to find, I guess. I, uh, that's what I think. Oh, if you warped, yeah, then then it, it might be that, yeah, you have the same one. Um, it could be that that is just the way they look and uh, you have to be lucky coming across a very unique one. Okay, so far no exotic ship. There was just this one ship landing here. C-class hauler. Let's just hang on for one more second to see if another ship lands here. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there's another one coming in. Two coming in. Okay, that's an explorer. And that's a hauler, is it? Oh, shuttle. Yeah, doesn't seem so. Um, this is not one where an exotic is in the first wave. Oh, there's another one coming here. Just have a quick look. So what you usually what I do is I wait for the first two waves after I reload. And if there's an exotic in the first two waves, that exotic has a chance of showing up every single time. Even if you buy it. It doesn't matter. You buy it, you reload, and then you can buy it again. So it used to be very important because only exotics had a really high chance of upgrades for for ships, yeah. But it seems the Sentinel, everyone I scrapped gave me uh, one or two upgrades, which is great. Not a paradise planet. Um, <laughs> definitely not. Um, let's see, here we go. Toxic planet. Very nice. Always appreciate it. Uh, but waited too long to use the map. Oh, they call it somewhat like a, fra a fragment. Oh yeah, I always got the echoes. The, we had a fragment for a reward, remember, and we didn't get it. We ended up getting cheated by the game. Freaky looking planet. Let's get scanning so we can make some money. Yeah, I have to get S class scanner modules. And I also have to get my face beam module installed. So what we want to do is put that here, put that here. Oh, yes. So this one is 18 heat dispersion damage. Boom. Now we have what? Plus 30 damage. So we're going to put this here and put this here. Excellent. So that has two connections now. Really good. Love it. Go this way.
incoming storm. Toxic protection falling. Ah, there we go. Nice, more alien eggs for nanites. Awesome. We're gonna purge them again in the end. Let's get our ship. Where's the ship landing thing? The ship landing thing. Where's the pillar for landing the ship? I thought there was a... Fair enough. Let's just call it here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crap. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. We have no... Ah! Uh, we have no charge. Craft. What do we need? Sodium. I have sodium. Do I not? I should have loads of sodium. Huh. I don't have any sodium. Interesting. I must have used it all up to um, repair my ship earlier, my shields. Um, if you hold F in your freight in your freighter, you can see the freighter you have. It traveled by my side. That night I dreamt of the warp cage, but there was no more pain within the drone. Looked at me, and I knew that I had been forgiven. I fixed it. I'd answered for my sins. Whatever. Search physical cache. Whoever recorded this message left a piece of technology. Okay. Um, highly valuable resource detected. What? whispering eggs. We're gonna get them now. You bastard. Every single time.
Okay, let's go get those eggs. Yeah, they really dumped the enemies down like they, they don't oh actually one hit me now okay okay hang on to escape here for a second and heal up sneezes lately come on just heal up and now get the rest there we go there we go nearly fully healed up again there we go now we can get the next Whoa, 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 whoa. He hit me like a bastard. Did you see how fast, how far I flew off? I think we got them all now, did we? No. Yeah, we did, I think. We got these. We got these. Let's do one more round. We got them here. We got those guys. Got those guys. Ah, here we go. This is where he knocked my socks off. There we go. Nice. And I think that was it. Yeah. No more. Okay, let's go back to the ship. Okay, excellent. So how many do we get? 16. Very good. Oh, we got more, didn't we? Yes. There we go. Nice. Um, we can get rid of those. This one can go into my starship. This one in here and this one. Okay, one thousand and three hundred. So one thousand three hundred free nanites. Not bad. Happy about that. I think that's all of them. Yeah. So is that mission done now? Wait for additional data to be restored. Okay, so that's fine. And um, now we can go... The factory may be protected. So we can we could do that. Install... Yeah, that I don't need to. Um, a combat scope. What is that? Craft and find and purchase iron batteries. I have that. A wiring loom at a space station trade. Yeah, we can buy that. I think we need to craft one. Wiring 
Did not learn the recipe a bit by now. I thought I did. Oh, the wiring loom you probably can't uh, craft. Okay, let's go. We have to call in the anomaly anyway now. Whoa! Are they from a frigate? Or are they just ships? Yeah, I think you can have up to six ships or nine ships, I'm not really sure. We need to get another exosuit piece here. Not you. You're a cook, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple of more nanites. Nice, 200. So I think what we should do next is the auto mining, learning the industrial stuff, because we're going to need a lot more resources now very soon, especially now that we have a freighter, we're going to be able to look at making freighter warp core. So the freighter, so we can make frigate fuel now, which is great for missions, but we also need to make a warp cell for a freighter. Which one is that?
Yeah, that's different. That's a starship. Starship hyperdrive. Yeah, so can we not make the big ones for the freighter? We have to figure out how to do that. So yeah, let's do this. Let's go to our log and let's start looking at... Well, first of all, we want to buy a, a wiring loom so we can install the combat scope. Yeah, so... Combat scope, sure, let's put it here. Technology yeah, we just need the wire wheel in now. But the actual mission we want to do is industrial serving. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we don't have an electromagnetic generator. We don't have that yet, actually. That's right. Can't do that. Plans discovered, play trims, yeah, okay. I don't know which one should we do next. I suppose we should be doing the weapons research lab. Why not? Yeah, there's loads of missions here now in, the, in that system. I never know which one to do either. Yeah, it's like, you know, for me, I, I just do any of them, but for the stream, I'm, I'm not sure which one would be the most fun to do on stream. But we want to progress. I, I do actually quite a few off stream as well to progress. Okay, we don't have any combat for a freighter. So let's go here first because we have to buy the white, the, the, the loom. that piece of equipment I like how we get the updates of my fleet being on the way So these guys don't actually attach to anything. Okay. So what does this do exactly? A recoil stabilizing weapon scope for precise combat. Okay. Cool. Second, yes, I see. Let's go shut down the weapons factory. Let 
actually quickly land here and build the storage if I can. So you can see mine is just a freighter. It's a freighter class C. Um, it's not of any special uh, group or anything. So you see, if I want to fly with my freighter to places, I need um, warp um, material, but I don't really have that for my freighter ship. I think you can see it here. Hang on, upgrade control parts. Yeah, this one here. Oh no, that's just frigate fuel. Oh, okay. So how do I do warp? Oh, I need a warp core resonator first. Okay, so right now in the moment we can't actually move away from the system because we don't have a warp uh, core. So, okay, so where are we gonna put our storage? I would say here to the right, maybe. Let's see if we can do that. Now I want a room. Just a normal empty room. Can I not just make a big space? I didn't know we can do that. That is awesome. Pew 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 pew. Hello. <laughs> Okay, good, we leave that there. So, fair enough, if, why can I not make big rooms? There's a big room here. Oh, okay. Because I want to make a big room for storage, but it looks like I might not be able to do that. Or is it just multiple corridors attached to each other? No. Can I build yeah, let's make storage room? Excellent. And I only built one, and that is zero, which means this is what I can access. And this is awesome now because I can dump everything in here and I can access it from anywhere. I think I have to keep that on me, though. Keep that on me. And that. And that. That's for selling. 
What is this? This is navigational data? Yeah, I might want to hang on to that as well. So now from my ship... Yeah, I keep this in my sh... Oh, no, this one here I keep in the and this one... Okay, and I can get more resources or whatever when I'm on a planet, but the good thing is I can just um, keep most of it here now, so I have some more room in my inventory. Um, yeah, let's go down to the planet. Oh, I probably should harvest all of these and put them into my storage as well. Well, once I have my second storage unlocked. What do I need for a second storage? Um, I need more sodium. I have some sodium nitrate that I could convert into sodium, I think. Um, oh, I can't access my storage yet because I don't have the matter converter, okay. Oh, they make the open areas, okay, so that's good. So I have to unlock that. Um, yeah, I don't have enough. I have to get some sodium. Okay, and how much silver do we have left? Loads. Okay, so all we need is some sodium. Fair enough. Now, actually, sorry. This room that we built, what does it look, look like from the outside? Yeah, look. We built this one room. You can see it from the outside. This is, this is awesome. So... I guess this is the maximum width of the ship we can build. Yeah, we have to put more teleporters around the place if we can. the weapons factory. Do we have a computer here so we can turn off the defenses first? Doesn't look like it. Production. The 
Is that bugged? So they come in here, but they don't attack me in here. Okay, I'm down with that. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, the machinery has been retuned to be to my specifications. I hope I have made the world a better place. Uh, configure for art, sure. Using ugly raw materials to create an endless parade of beauty. There you go. Very good. Oh, so I can actually change that. Okay. I don't know what uh, if that has any bearing what I pick. No idea. Okay, um, return to the armorer. We can do that. You have shut down the production. Yes, I did. Excellent work. Did you obtain any technology for, for our own? We shall continue your training. Weapons are nothing without usage, without the glory of righteous war. Yes, my Klingons. Deal yourself, interloper. Pirates have discovered our world. They will provide practice for your weapons. What? Attack, burn their hives, villainy and sin. Let them know that this is no one's sky but ours. As they tell me of the pirates, the armorer begins to shake. I have not seen such passion, such hate was expressed in them for any other thing. The armor alerts me to the presence of a pirate ship orbiting this world. Ask me to go and fight them. Yes! Okay, let's do it. Destroy them before they draw more sentinel attention to our homeworld. Okay. Sure, let's do it. He wants me to go to war. Cool. No problem. Morning. Where? Ooh, nice. There's a frigate, a freighter. We, can, we might actually be able to hire a ship here. Unless they're pirates, but we might be able to hire a ship here if we're lucky. A nice A class would be nice. Yep, there we go. Let's see, what do we have? Okay, what ship are you? Inspect frigate. Ah, your C class. No, it declined. So that was this guy. Let's go to this guy. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Okay, maybe this was the one that I spoke to. Oh, okay. It used to be 
be able to talk to all of them individually. Now we can't. Okay, anyway. We better look for the pirates. it well done nice let's see what we got suspicious packets ooh quad servo yeah we can sell that and we can sell all of that nice. oh more ships coming in okay so we can talk to any of those guys Incredible frigate. That's a C class. That's the same stupid thing. Yeah, there's actually an Excel sheet I used to have. I think I still have that. Um, let me check. I think I still have it. It's under the No Man's Land. Delicious frigates. Oh, here, yeah, frigates. Okay, so basically, the way it works is yeah, the general ballpark, unless that's changed. Yeah, you see the way you have the stats here combat 2, 1, 1, 6. Yeah, this ship is a level. What is expedition? So, level 0 ships have between 0 and 3 expeditions. Yeah, and they get about 20 stats. Yeah. So this one has seven expeditions, which means it's a level one because it's between four and seven and it can have up to 21 stats, yeah? But what you see here is that it has six, seven, eight, nine, ten stats. So from what I understand is if I see a ship that has seven expeditions, but it has less than 21 stats, it's not good because it's like top of the range would be 21 stat points earned Yeah, at, at this. And the reason this is important, I think, is because you can, again, unless they changed it, you can level up your frigates. Yeah, So you get your frigates, you level them up with missions, but because they're already so low on stats, you can never get them to the top of the top. And the top of the top is uh, level 10, with 55 expeditions and 35 stat points. You will never get those 35 stat points if you don't already have the maximum stat points when you buy them. So this person will be short about 12 stat points or something. So we will never get 35 stat points. We will only ever get 23 in total. Yeah, leveling this guy up. That I think that is how I recall how it works. And this cheat sheet is just a general ballpark, yeah? So if he would have 16 stat points, yeah, that would be good, but he doesn't. So um, he doesn't have to have 21. It's like, again, I don't know what changed since I played last time, but let's see. Okay, we have here another recruitable frigate. Can I talk to you? Yes, okay. Now, he, oh wow, he has 15 expeditions. So with 15 expeditions, he literally just reached level three and he should have uh, 24 stat points maximum available, yeah? So 
and he has 9, 15, 20, 26. Wow, that's actually really good as far as I understand. So this is a very good C-class then, is it? Oh, and he has um, minus 15 expedition fuel cost, plus two exploration. Oh, okay, so he actually has plus two exploration, but also minus two exploration for the haunted radar, so that cancels each other out. So, that means he's actually really good. Roy, well, what is your experience with that? He's a support specialist. And I think what you want is you want a kind of a mix between um, not supports, but I'm gonna buy this one anyway. I'm gonna buy this one. And um, let's see if. Oh, we have another one. Okay. Oh, that's the shitty one we just had. Yeah, that's the shitty one. Where's the other one? Was there not another one? This one here, and then there was definitely not another one. There was a third one. So not, there we go. Oh, okay, so... Let's go to this one first, I guess. Wow, he's an industrial specialist, which is really good, a mining vessel. And he has 19, 21, 26 points with eight expeditions. That's the, so I think that's really good. Engines rattle, he has minus four trading. So he's not very good for trading, but that's okay. He has plus 15, he's an industrial specialist. That, that is awesome. Well, sure, we're gonna get him as well. Yeah, he's another support specialist with exploration. This is a supply vessel, minus 15 expedition fuel, that's very good. Exploration. Um, progress to next rank, 27%, so that's 11, 15, 20, 23. Of expeditions. I, they, they must have changed something because otherwise they all sound really amazing. It's 12 expeditions, about. It's still a level 2. And I can't, I can't see the level here, I guess, or the rank here. So he's still a rank 2. And he should have up to 22 stats. So 11, 15, 20, 23. So yeah, they all have more than the old sheet I have. So they must have changed something. Get him as well, and then we check out the last one here. So it would be good to get whatever. No, not this one. There was someone closer here. Yeah. Another ooh, 26, but he already has 27 expeditions. That means he's a rank four. Yeah, they have changed something because that is all cost per warp 15. Yeah, I don't know. He's not as young anymore. So, yeah, it would be good to get a high combat one, but um, let's leave these guys alone here. Return to the armor.
you purge the wild beings? Yes, I did. There's both good and bad news. Some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath, but this merely delays their righteous extermination. I love it. Hunt them down and inter interrogate them for potential weapons technology and then consign them to the great abyss. Scout Yarsen is clearly possessed by the thrill of the hunt, but this energy cannot disguise the fact they appear to be weakening. Has, uh, has residing here in my base caused them to become ill? The Amroy wishes for me to find one of the escaped pirates and take any technology they might possess. Sure. But we don't have to do this right now, this very second. But um, that is pretty cool. I love this. So let's get some sodium so we can make um, more stuff. How do we get the um, salvage data for freighters again? What did we say earlier? Salvage frigate module, the highest success rate is to send frigates to industrial missions. Okay, now that we actually have... Um, yeah, I don't know how you can find crash sites, though. Um, I know the ones you're talking about because there's one in the beginning of the game. Um, do we find them with this? See, we used to be able to place... Oh, Jesus, where is he? We used to be able to set this guy down and feed it navigational data. But now that doesn't work anymore. You can only say, find a nearby structure. Nearby building already marked. Yeah, that means we have nothing else here. We have to go to the other side of the planet probably. So how do you find frigate crash sites now in orbital? That's right, the planet charts. That's absolutely right. Sodium. That's right, the Exocraft has an upgrade here. That's, that's correct. I remember the Exocraft is what I ended up using to find the Exosuit pods because they were able to find buildings and the building icons could be pods sometimes. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Let's do that. Let's go up and... Um, I salvage data. That's a good idea. 
let's head up and have a look at what we can get for our exocraft. Yeah, we can't learn the electromagnetic generator yet because we don't have enough um, salvage data. I think we need 10 or so, but I'm not going to do this right now. I just want to go to here and check out the maps and see what we need for them. I have an economy scanner, yeah, but that uh, only shows you how rich the... Um, the, the spaces and the richer the space the more likely you, you get fancy ships on the uh, I, well I, I don't know the, the richer the system maybe yeah the more likely you find frigates and all that absolutely that could I, I don't know yeah I just know one thing if you have a very rich economy you the ships you find on the space stations that land there have a very high likelihood of being S classes and exotics One second, my dog.
sorry about that. So there's an upgrade for the few exocrafts, yes. So we're gonna have a look at that in the anomaly in a second. The microphone's on, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's just um, my wife came back home with my daughter and I like to see them before they go to bed. And um, because it's now nearly 10 o'clock, so they're all going to bed now. So I don't, I don't like when I stream and I don't see them before they go to bed. Because they were out. So what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Um, I forgot. <laughs> um, oh yeah, the map, 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 the map. There's the map chart dealer. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't go that far, Daniel. I try my best. <laughs> so, exchange specific charts. So, what do we need to buy them? A chart. So, exchange one chart. Exchange. So, we have an artifact, a planetary chart. Oh, it's navigational data. Okay. Commercial emergency. Would it be the emergency chart? I think it would be the emergency chart, wouldn't it? Oh, exosuit upgrade chart. Yes, there we go. Oh, they made that easier. And settlement chart. Yeah, they made that easier. This didn't exist before. Well, last time I played, this didn't exist. You literally just were looking for buildings or something. Not commercial, but for buildings. And... Um, so, what is the alien cartography data? Anyway, yeah, let's get... Um, I would say get two emergencies. And we're gonna get... I think I can get two of those. Yeah. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay. So we might even find a ship, actually. So this has a chance now of actually finding, I think, one of those stranded dudes that has a ship as well. Could be an S-Class ship, you know, could be amazing. But um, anyway, we're gonna do one here and then we're gonna try to find a rich system. A very good high economy system. We're gonna do that there as well. Oh, wow, 441,000? Yes, please. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there's somewhere here. There we go. That is a high reward, my friend. Is that it? Boom! Three Corvaxes and 414. That was awesome. Quickest money ever made. And. Ooh. Awesome. And um, yeah, I take that. Actually, we can leave that on our ship. And this as well. Now, salvaged class, uh, we don't need to trade in anymore. So what we're actually doing is we're going to do this because it has a chance of giving you uh, things for nanites and, ooh, 150,000 geodesite. Um, okay, let me go into here for a second. Geodesite. Platinum, 250. Oh, yeah, we looked at that before. It's not worth it. Yeah, so this is for selling. That is awesome. 
And we still have 19 navigational data actually as well, which is really, really cool. Oh, I never picked up my, oh, my scanner module. I left it on the planet. I'm so stupid. Oh no, there it is. That's good. Ooh, okay. Um, we can sell this and we can sell this. What an awesome little event. Ah, we, we figured out. Oh, that's a new planet. Is it? I don't know. It's a moon. So let's see what we find. Oh, wow. What is this? Some, oh, that looks amazing. Is that a fighter? It doesn't show us what type of ship it is. The, near, the nearby life form observes me as I approach this ship. Oh, there's actually a life form here. I see him, yeah. It's a fighter. He's a Viking. Of course it's a fighter. Okay, let's quickly do a save in case we mess something up. Talk to him. There's a gun there. <laughs> hey, Biggles, how are you? He's weak, pathetic, uh, and he's in death. I said, okay, if you think you're pathetic, then you should, yeah. Oh. With rapid exhaustion, constant fury, so steady on their feet with the disoriented manner of someone who has flown for days without rest. Offer us to ask about ship. He makes a vulgar gesture towards their starship, seeming to resent it for failing them. Uh, I'm welcome to investigate, it seems. Okay. It's only lightly damaged. I can make antimatter, can I not? Let me see. Oh, chromatic crap. I have everything on my freighter. Can I access my freighter? Of course I can't. Bollocks. Ah. God damn it. Okay, I want to fix this. So, I should have... Oh. Sector navigational beacon? What? Okay, where is um There's no is there no resources? Copper. There we go. Oh there's a settlement. Sodium.
Okay, 70 chromatic metal. Yes. Everything repaired, it's ready to go, so can we take it? <laughs> Engineer Modern Ross was thanks, gifti gifting me a generous portion of their cargo. Their ship is strong again, the target's cowardly flight has come to an end, and Viking's eyes glitter with bloodlust. Wave farewell. Aww. Okay, we got some unstable plasma, but we rescued a stranded pilot, I guess. Okay. I think sometimes you can get their ship. Or you can find a site where the pilot is dead or something, you can get their ship. Something like that. I'm not 100% sure, I don't remember correctly, probably. Um, let's actually see if there is a cargo here for uh, the exosuit. Never actually. I never actually sent out um, the notifications. Um, sorry about that. Jen will be furious. Jen will be furious. <laughs> She's like, I didn't receive the notification. I'm sorry. Jen, please don't hate me. Um. Okay, so where is the... Oh, it's actually, it's over there. How far away is it? Yeah, definitely have to fly there. Let me see. Notifications. I usually do that before the stream, but because I was so late, I completely forgot. Hey, Azamain, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Why does it take so long before the uh, rest of the wicked is coming out? Tell me. Why does it take so long? Why are the days not moving faster for the rest of the wicked? Has to be on the other side of the planet. Holy balls! There we go. Oh no, that was too. <laughs> oh, that was way too fast. I thought I was aiming at it. Balls! That was really. F <laughs> we went right past this. Ah well, we're 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 basically there. So, that, that was very fast. Okay, so let's do this. Now, there's a little trick here. I, I hope that still works, yeah? So you see the way when you have to you have to repair it, you have to make an antimatter housing, you have to do this, you have to do this. Now I don't know if that still works, yeah, but let, oh shit, that looks amazing. Wow. Get off my planet! 
Oh shit! What the hell? That was awesome. It just came out of nowhere from the horizon. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Here. So let me just do a save. Okay. So, um, the way this works is there, there, there is a glitch. Basically, there's a bug. Yeah. Beside every one of those pods, you have one of those damaged containers. What you do is when you open the container, yeah. You remove this and it opens and gives you an item, but there's like a two second delay or something. So if I do this and then get out before I get the item, I think if I access this now, I can just upgrade it. Ah, oh, how did, did this, does it not do that anymore? They fixed that. Oh, those bastards. So basically what used to happen is because you didn't get the item yet from this container, yeah? You see the way it has the question marks over it, yeah? The next container you touched, it basically thought that was the container and it would immediately give you access. Oh, I can't believe they fixed that. Oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> unless, unless it's to do with loading or something. So let me go here and let me reload. Because that, that was basically the bug, yeah, and which was amazing. So you didn't have to worry about all this nonsense like the the housing and the nanites and none of whatever the hell you had to craft, you know. So let me just see if that um, still shows up as repaired or something. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we need... Sodium nitrate and carbon nanotube. Ugh. I hate my life. <laughs> okay, what do we need? We need nanites for that. We need carbon. Okay, and I have everything on my freighter because I'm an idiot. So we have to. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Might as well pick it up now. What a pity. We just have to pick up a little bit of carbon here, so that's fine. There's, I mean, there's big trees. Oh, I can't actually kill those things. What? What? Why are, you, why are you being aggressive to me? I didn't do anything to you. I gently rubbed your bottom with my laser, so it's really nothing to worry about. Oh, yes, navigational data, very nice. Oh, there we go, condensed carbon and sodium, very good. Actually, we need to keep the, we want to keep these actually because they give us ferrite. How long, I, I've been playing No Man's Sky on and off um, between different seasons, but I always have like a year or two year break in between. So I, st I restart every time I play it again. So I forget about 50% of what I knew before. And But it's always slowly coming back. Um, so, but in total, I would say 320 hours, maybe. And in between, I play like tons and tons of different games, like so. It's very easy for me to forget the mechanics of one game. There's only a few games where my muscle memory uh, kind of takes over and I don't have to remember how to play it. It just happens and I don't even know how it happens. And um, one of them is World of Warcraft. I can take a break of 10 years from World of Warcraft. The moment I get back, I have no clue how the controls work anymore, but I just, it just, I just literally jump right in and my hands just remember what to do. It's it's just all muscle memory. I played two, I played about 9,000 hours of World of Warcraft, so uh, I don't have to remember anything. 
like I'm talking about the combat, not about um, remembering, of course, the um, you know the actual certain things. Like I always have to, obviously, you don't remember every single feature. Okay, so what do we have? We have an antimatter, so we can make one of those now. And what do we need for the chamber thing? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. We need ferret dust, which I have. Oh, yeah, sorry. Ferret dust we have now because we put this in here and that gives us ferret dust. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that's why I always restart, basically, every single time. Okay, so now we can make the housing. Yeah, they fixed all these glitches. Oof. So we have to do genuine work now. Sodium nitrate. Yeah, we have sodium. Making sodium nitrate is easy. Um, Oh, that's carbon, sorry. That was the wrong one. Um, where's my sodium? Did I not pick up lots of sodium? Oh, here. Yeah, I was just about to say. Condensed carbon. And carbon. Uh, glad you do have been enjoying watching. Yeah, I always like restarting after a while. It's it's with a lot of games like Seven Days to Die, like World of Warcraft. Even I could have ten characters maxed out, different classes. I always go, yep, yeah, and another one, a fresh one, you know, just to remind myself. Um, there's not a lot of games where the beginning and the, the beginning grind is fun. And there's only a handful of games really for me, but that's the case. Um, and what do we need now? Just the nitrate. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so let's um, give ourselves more space. Upgrade extra suit. So there, there is a thing as well where. If you, before you take it, I think, if you do a save, then activate it. It used to be anyway. Then activate the slot, then get into your ship and fly to a space station. And then from there, reload back to your save. You can get the upgrade again. Um, this, they, they must have fixed all those glitches. What is this? Oh, no, we don't want to do this quest. Uh, no. Okay, let's go and find a rich system. And then we're going to do the crash starship uh, thing there and see if we get a freighter. Maybe we get lucky with a freighter then. Oh, space signal detected. What? What the hell? Okay. Offer. What do you have? The pilot shutters away. Thrilled they appear. Examine cargo manifest. Oh, look at you. You actually allow. Oh, gravitational balls. Nice. Oh, 
that's pretty cool. I actually can sell you these. And I can sell you the servo. If I... No, they're not. They're only good for money. I don't think you can turn them into nanites. You can only do the larvae into nanites. Yeah. I know it's not as much money as we would get selling it somewhere else, but might as well make, the, make the room. Okay. Okay. Find a rich system. That's the that's the challenge now. We have the economy scanner, so we can see if something is rich or not. So this one is advanced materials. It's a economy is a two star economy. Come on. Ooh, no data available. And that's always a bit worrying. <gasps> Oh, it's a two-star as well. Okay, is there anything close by? Hang on. Okay, you need an idiom try for that. It's a one-star. Okay, where are we right now? Let's see what's close to us. And potentially a three-star. So we already visited that. Let's see what do we have down there. We visited that. That's a three-star. Um, three-star system. We already visited it. But let's see if we can find a new system. A three-star new system. We haven't visited yet. Oh, can we not see it? Hang on. Um, black hole, galaxy, galaxy core, re explore. Oh, filters. There we go. Filters. Economy. Yeah, filter by economy and free explore. So, what does the colors represent now? So, that was a one star. That one down here was a three star. It's a red. So does that mean everything red is um, rich? So is that a rich system? No. Ooh, that's a pirate system. Okay, so it's not that easy to find it. But I don't understand the filter. Let's fly here and then we can go to a, a system following that. Let's see. Yeah, I started with Burning Crusade, World of Warcraft, and have n never stopped playing until um, Pandaria. Pandaria, halfway through Pandaria, I stopped playing World of Warcraft for the first time. Almighty, how are you? Which system? Which system? Okay, don't fully understand this economy filter. But... It's a two star. Is that it? that that is red? Does that mean no? It's a one star. So the color is not what decides if it's rich or not. So what decides if it's rich or not? There we go. Oh, we need an. Oh, we need an uh, emerald drive. We don't have that yet. How depressing. I don't know. Um, I'm fine. Yeah. D does anybody understand that economy filter? Like how? Like what am I looking at? Like I thought at first, okay, the colors mean the richness of the economy, but it doesn't seem to be at all. Some reds are two star economy. Some reds are one star. Some reds are three star. So that that has nothing to do at all. 
with that. I mean, this is a three star, but we already been there, and that's a red planet. But then you have this red planet, and it's only a two star. Um, oh, okay. So the filter is no, no, it's not. I thought it was something else. Yeah. I don't know. So what's the information that changes? It no, you see, no information changes, only the color, and that's why I'm so confused. Anyway, we want to find a three-star uh, system, if we can. Oh, there we go. Excellent. And we can actually go there. Boom. Let's go. Awesome. So now we can go and get exosuits, two pieces. I want to look at the abandoned site, whatever it's called, or emergency chart now. Um, because if we have a high economy system, maybe we have a chance of getting a good freighter crash site. I don't know. Oh, nice. Aggressive sentinels. That means we have a chance here as well of getting um, another sentinel ship. So we have to check that out as well. So in a rich system, there's a high chance that there could be an exotic landing here. Yeah, I don't understand the no data part. Um, I think you need maybe, maybe it's a pirate system, I don't know. So, but seeing that this is a rich, rich economy system, there's a very high chance of S-class ships landing here as well as um, exotics. Oh, what is this? An A-class. Look at that. Nice. A B-class small weapon. Let's get this one. And... So. What do we have? A-class, C-class, and an A-class. So we do have two A-classes landing here, but because it's a gag system, I think we get more explorers and stuff like that. Got a B-class shuttle. Oh, that's an A-class fighter, actually. No, it's a B-class fighter. So yeah, we'll see. That's the first wave. So usually the first two, three waves is that you want to check out. Oh, yeah, we can sell the... I think we have Another one. Oh no, they just left. Okay, so once they left, now let's check out in the rich system what this guy has. Hopefully, freighter upgrades that would be amazing, or ship upgrades. What? Guild rank unknown. Oh, nice. So we can donate salvage data, repair kits. That is cool. Living glass. Oh, that is nice. And then what can we get? Circuit boards, salvage frigate modules. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, this system we have to remember, that is amazing. Another A-class. B-class fighter. C-class hauler, okay. That is awesome. We definitely want to give. Uh, so what you do basically is you uh, craft, I guess, 50, um, 50 living glass or something like that. And or um, whatever you can find, you know, superconductors. But this one is probably the easiest. Just get loads and loads of salvage data and donate it. And that's it. Um, there you go. We're now an initiate with that with that one. That is awesome. I thought all the merchant guilds were the same. 
And now that we initiate, we can get free starship fuel. Awesome. That was so unexpected. So this, so what's the difference between that merchant guild and the merchant guild on the other planet? It, uh, the race has nothing to do with it because I leveled up the other merchant guild to the max level, and one of them is Viking, the other one is a Gek, and they belong to the same guild. So how come? Can I see the guilds here somewhere? Oh, you can't, can you? Catalog, catalog. Are the guilds somewhere here? Oh, shit. Anyway, what I wanted to do is I wanted to quickly uh, reload to get the in get the actual first waves of this. So let's reload this. So uh, to previous mention, only Minotaur or the submarine Exocraft can scan for crash ships. I thought the car was able to also scan for uh, crash sites. Mm. Whoops. So, how is this guild different? Because the race has nothing to do with that. Anyway, just wait for the first wave and then I show you the other guild. Because I, from the name, I don't see any difference. This is called a merchant's guild. Oh, hello. This is called a merchant's guild. Of the merchant guild, the other one was the other one called a mercenary guild or also a merchant guild. I don't remember. We gotta check it out. Now in a second. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's an explorer again. Oh, there was two ships. That's why it looked so confusing. Yeah, it seems we're getting the same ships. We're not getting lucky, so there's no exotic landing here in the first two waves. Okay. Um, let me go to the other system for a second. So if I go, let me see, I think it was this one, economy, high voltage, opulent, yeah. So if we warp to here, that is crazy. If I go to this guy, he's from mercenary skills. So there is different guilds. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't know that because every single one so far that I saw was mercenary guild. So I just assumed they're all from the same guild. So that is really awesome. go back to the last system oh I actually my freighter I can go to as well oh that's cool I can get some resources back um, I was where was I last this one previous system yeah Yeah, so I'm gonna have to get a lot of uh, resource uh, salvage data and then just constantly reload, hunt and salvage data, reload, hunt and salvage data. So every time you basically uh, save, reload, uh, he should reset and you should be able to hunt in another three. Um, there you go. Two. 
And in the beginning, you level up pretty quickly, but I think later on, you need to hunt in about uh, 20, 30 of those, um, each time three, of course, maximum. Or you somehow get lucky and get um, loads of these other things and can always do them all at the same time. So living glass, we should probably be able to craft at some point. Okay. So let's get out anyway and go and call the anomaly so we can look at two things. The Exocraft scanner and um, the Exosuit upgrade. And then we're going to go and do another crush ship. And then we're also going to look at the planet for Sentinel Echoes and see if the Sentinel ship on, in this completely different system is exactly the same as the one that had. Aggressive sentinels. Ooh, seeing this is a rich system, we might actually find an A-class um, frigate. Oh, whoa, 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 dude. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice, nice, nice. What do we get here? C class as well. Wow, 22 trade and only six expeditions. That is amazing. Again, I don't know what the perfect thing is, but oh, this. Oh, Fisher's encounters. Oh, that's required to the next rank. Okay. Yeah, they definitely changed that system. I have to read up about this again. So we definitely got this one very good. Let's check this guy as well. Yeah, I know, you're just average. Another industrial specialist, now we're okay. I need a combat specialist, that's what I'm looking for now, a combat specialist. Let's see if these guys have one. specialist and four expeditions 16 20 okay sure let's go with that and now we need a combat one please uh, that is not a combat one. very good That looks like a combat one, but it's a trade one. Okay. class industrial oh oh 30 expeditions so yeah he's already very old skill plus one exploration 15 industry now i'm gonna save my money because if i come across a really good combat one and i can't afford it i would absolutely hate myself They actually level up then with... Oh, okay. Okay, that's good to know. You found Exotic on the second station in the new game. Nice. Yeah, it's just that the high economy systems, they just have a higher chance um, of, of getting S-classes and Exotics. It doesn't mean that you can't go to the worst possible system and find the most amazing... Uh, 
S class, you know, of course that's possible. But even exotic. Absolutely, yeah. Usually on every space station, I always wait for one or two waves, regardless. Okay, so we go here, like that. Now, let's have a look at the exosuits, uh, exocraft upgrades. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dentists must love you. Okay. Now, we have exocraft radar, large and complex field-based subspace radar. Okay, let's, yeah. let's get that. I think we can buy everything. We have plenty of nanites. Then we have an amplifier and then we have a power resonator. It, yeah, for additional building types. Excellent. So. Yeah, they're very expensive, but I think the, the thing about exotics is that you can find some very unique ones. I really wish we wouldn't have a ship limit that you could have like a hundred ships, but you pick your six, you have to have favorites and whatever you marked as favorite up to six or whatever the limit is for your frigate, uh, for your freighter, uh, you can have say six marks as favorite or nine, whatever the max is, but you can have a hundred ships. You just can't have them all on display yeah and i think that would be so much better because there's so many exotics i would love to collect i mean i i always was surprised that they didn't allow people to collect as many ships as possible like pokemon you know it, it's just such a missed opportunity i think okay so let's have another look here and see what we can get High power sonar, high detail, um, submarine weapon, submarine mining laser. Installed into the tribesman version. Oh, that's for, for water then. Submarine stuff, okay. And boost engine, sure. And they don't have to have them all there visible in the menu. I can understand there's a limit on the menu, but why not have a screen right here? Sim like not in the menu here, but like here, starships, like starships, whatever, and then have just a list, just have a list here, yeah? When you click on the list, you see a little preview of the ship like that. And so you don't have to have them all loaded, of course not. But then you can say, okay, Mark, this is favorite, this is favorite, this is favorite. And that's going to be the ones you play with, you know? And then you can change them out. And I think that would be so amazing. And storage-wise, that wouldn't really need much because you could have thousands of ships because you're not really loading all of them. You're only loading up to six or nine at a time. There should be no difference in performance or anything. Fuel system. Oh, storm crystals. Yeah, we know where to get some of those. Um, that. Um, self greasing. Oh, that's for the in the Minotaur Daedalus engine. Yeah, Minotaur. And here we have the Minotaur. So this is all Minotaur stuff. Okay. So and this is all for general exocraft stuff. Okay. The mining laser definitely get that. get the advanced stuff as well we have so many, yeah you know what let's just get them all because um, I have the knights right now so I might as well so sometimes he goes back in yeah very strange is that it we don't need this yet because this is all minotaur stuff this is all Nautilus, so I think we are done. Oh, there was one more actually in the bottom. Hang on. Unless that was Minotaur as well. Yeah, that was Minotaur, was it? Yeah. Good.
Oh yeah, it's just for convenience, you know, to pick up a little bit here and there. Um, let me think, where am I going? Yes, we're gonna go planet side now. So what we want to do now is... Um, Oh, that was an abandoned building? So that emergency was an abandoned building. Oh, okay. Ah, not the aggressive Sentinel planet, we have to go there. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Do you have any good combat? Ooh. These guys look a bit fancy. Do you guys have any good combat ships? Ah, industrial. Exploration. Check these guys just out. Yeah, all right, leave them alone. We're gonna find a different system. I think we need a Viking system. We have a higher chance of. Um... We have a higher chance of finding. Um... Combat ships, I guess. Combat frigates. So the main thing I want to do with the scanner is obviously to find building types because I know you can find the exosuit buildings with the exocraft scanner. Which means we could, um, per planet, find like three, four, five. Now I can do that all off camera, obviously, uh, between streams. But we can do it like uh, on stream for one or two just to show how it works. For anybody who doesn't know that already. Oh, alien eggs again. Nice. Love it. More nanites. Let's have a look inside. First. Oof, nice salvage data. Front door is here. Discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. Nanites! <laughs> okay, we got three nanites. Very good. Very good. 
Gut. Okay, let's get ourselves some eggs. We have some room, do we? It's gone. Crap, lost it. Fell underground, most likely. Come on. There we go. Yeah, one of them keeps going underground. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just ref refuel. so far Check. Okay, very good. Quick and easy. Okay, um, one more of those, and then we're done. There it is in front of us. Now, now you don't need the cards. I could have found that. I could have found that just by flying through um, But the Exocraft scanner should be okay. We're gonna try this again. Meta housing, that's sodium, carbon, meta housing. Okay. There we go.
See, is there a house building somewhere? Hmm. Oh, there's more there's more homing sacks. I think you can mine with these, don't you? Oh, what do we have here? That's just a crashed heart. Yeah, there isn't much here, really. Oh, there we go. These house buildings. They have a chance of being one of those exopods, I guess. Yeah, there you go. There's another one. Awesome. So you don't even need the cards. You just look for the house icons and they have a chance of being one of those. There you go. Oh, unless that... No, that's not the one we just read. It's a different one. Carbon? Okay. Um, interesting to see the different approaches to this game. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of things I remember only from a long time ago, and they're probably superseded or, you know, fixed glitches specifically. Um, ugh, we need more carbon. Oh, I have um, this. There you go. Oh, there could be a trader. Sometimes there's a trader here. I don't um, let's see what we get. We definitely get some salvage data here. What did we get from this guy? Oh, pulse engine module. Nice. mess on this one. Get some nanites. Sometimes you get... Oh, there we go. Navigational data. Very good. Sometimes you get a, um, a word here or whatever. Yes, 
Yes, navigation is there. was at okay so let's go to the planets with the sentinels and uh, put a little base pod there so and then we check if um, the sentinel ship is going to be different or the same leave no trace like a good camper well i don't like leaving big holes unless i'm mining obviously when i'm mining you know it's very hard to you, you can't actually fill it in because you can't restore the mining mode so yeah so let's see where's the planet, big boy planet Okay, where's the where's the, the other big planet? Is it hiding behind this planet? Oh, it's over there. Yeah, I think that's the one with the aggressive sense. Yeah, there we go, that's the one. I think aggressive sentinels is where you can get the echoes and stuff like that. The, the mirrors. On every planet you go to, I try and scan all fauna. Oh yeah, absolutely, it gives you nanites. But again, you if you find a pirate system, Andy, you literally can convert your money into nanites. Uh, the, you, you, you get 2,000 like in seconds. So it's it's extremely easy. So let's see if they have any mirrors here. Oh, I love all the bulbs. They look nice. very perfectly square platforms which is very freaky looking uh, I thought aggressive sentinel planets would have the mirrors and yeah, not here they have the graph balls which is obviously another thing mm, interesting thought all aggressive planets had the mirrors. Um, what you do is, you know when you go into, um, not warp, but into high speed, what I just did, yeah? Every now and then, when you do that, travel like that a lot, yeah? And then you get these interruptions that says, oh, an anomaly was detected. And then you stop, the, you stop and the anomaly could be um, a solar ship. And if, it, if you find the abandoned solar ship, it will have a transmission in it that will give you a side quest with a skull icon. And that will be the side mission that gets you into the pirate DLC, basically. Yeah. And um, if you follow that side mission, you end up at a pirate station. And it, the game teaches you all about, you know, uh, how to forge passports and all that. Like, you know, way, it, you just follow the side quest. But once you have that pirate station, you can always go back to it, yeah, and in your in your space station history, and um, that's the ones where you can buy uh, secret tech packs or something. And when you open them, they have an eighty percent chance, at least, like a really high chance of getting you these um, uh, pirated versions of um, those modules. These ones here, getting you these, but the the red ones, uh, the blue ones, yeah, that are 
the the pirate versions or whatever they are. I don't know what they're called actually. The, the different versions. They are kind of the they're blue and they're worth like this one, three hundred and seventy something nanites. Yeah, and you get loads of them, so you can buy like seven at a time, and you get up to seven. So that's like straight away. And then you just go into your ship, reload, and the merchant resets, and then you can buy again. But sometimes you can only buy two, sometimes seven, sometimes three. It's kind of random when you reload. But every time you reload, it's stocked up again. And then you just keep buying them. And that's it. So the more if you, you can basically convert your units to nanites, which is really good. Um, okay, Starship, we need fuel. There we go. So there's no mirrors here. Oh, dissonant label. Oh, I forgot about that label. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I completely... Um, um, you can... Yeah, you can find Trade Station, I think. I don't know if my scanner necessarily... Uh, I have the teleport receiver. Sorry, the economy scanner. Um... You need a different type of scanner, I think, for the... Let me see. You have the conflict scanner, and then you have the... Is it just a, an upgrade to the Starship's galactic sensor? This device allows you to access conflict data in the galaxy map without having to put themselves in harm's way. Actually, I have a walker brain in storage, and, and uh, so I can actually get... Uh, install this. Technology is installed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember that. Just double, just quickly check these guys, only because they popped in here. That's a bitty prick. That's a pretty big fleet. Let's see if there's a. Ah, they're all Corvax, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Support specialist. Pretty weak sauce, dude. We have to go and find a Viking system. Corvax. Viking. Oh, Hypertrive has no fuel. This. Nice. This one is. Oh, I hope I don't forget where it is. This one is a three star as well, but a Viking three star. Ooh. Ooh, I want it. Go there. Um, set wave point. Yes. So now I can go and fill in my ship. Starship. Where is it? I'm out of fuel with something. Come on, where is it? Is it this one? Is that the warp engine? Subscribe to him. I think so. Yeah. I just, I, there was nothing unfueled. What are you talking about? This is 100% fuel, 90% fuel. There should be enough. Where, where am I missing fuel? I don't get it. Why are you saying I have no, oh, oh, God damn it! I didn't see that. Sorry, my bad, I did not see that. The zero is, I just did not see it. Nice. Yeah, I think you can find trade centers, uh, trade stations with the um, exocraft scanner or on planet side when you find these house icons. There could be um, trade centers. You can just play, uh, look with F or um, just when you're in your ship, you just press C. Okay, not a dissident planet.
nice Viking system. Oh, look, a frigate just popped in as well. Hopefully they stay, hang around. Oh, press X and scan. Yeah, okay. On your in your ship, on your exo on your planet side, is it? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Dissonant label on the system is what you're looking for. Yes, yes, you're right. No, I need the cups sometimes. Let's see, dude. How are you? Are you from a guild? Initiates. Oh, okay. I donate my salvage data. Yes! Oof! Free warp core. Nice. Okay. Oh my god, storage augmentation. Are you kidding me? This one and the last one have storage augmentation, and the other one had the freighter salvage data. If we can get the merchant guild up to um, exalted or whatever it is, oh man, we, we, we're gonna be sorted. All I need is salvage data and uh, what else? Oh, you, ta you take actually storage augmentations, which means uh, that's gonna be terrible. Um, can we buy circuit boards? Buy circuit boards, that's the question. Buy circuit boards. So, any of this stuff here is super content. Oh, was. Oh, I don't think this is something he, he wanted, but we need one of those. Oh, interesting. Anyway. Still have two salvage data left. B-class fighter. Let me just um, save and see what the first two waves of ships are. If we get like a nice exotic here, maybe. Ashes of death. Ooh, a B-class fighter. This boy looks massive. He's a big boom. B-class fighter. Let's see what the waves bring in. Also get the exosuit upgrade, actually, I completely forgot. And we want to check out the multi-tools as well. C-class, okay, we have here. Ooh, that one, is that an alien one? No, it's an A-class. Go, exosuit upgrade. What ships do we have come in with wave number one? Ah, a sea shuttle. Oh my god. We're in a Viking system that should that shouldn't even exist. Wait, it's a Viking system. Why are you bringing in all these shuttles? Peasants. Okay, can I see if you have a multi-tool? No, no, not the upgrade. Um. Oh, yeah, I wanted a... It's a B-class. At least this is a fighter. It's another hauler. Okay, so let's wait for the second wave and see what's coming in. Can you not buy... Um, 
multi-tool upgrades, like modules. B-class explorer. So this is an exosuit upgrade. Yeah, because I want to um, upgrade, I want to get some S-class scanner modules. I can buy another two or three, actually. Oh, C-class explorer, A-class fighter, ooh, he looks pretty tasty as well, but no, um, what do you call it, no, um, exotic, fair enough. Oh, I already picked that up. Wings on this fighter look really amazing, actually. I like that. There is an X-wing fighter in the game, isn't there? Like, there's a, a fighter with X-wings, like the type, like the X-wing from Star Wars. I want those wings. Ah, that's another shuttle. Yeah, impressive. So let's get the anomaly upgrade and then we're gonna go to um, uh, try to find a dissident system. That would be nice. Oh, and we have to check the frigate, the frigate guys there. To see if we can get um, a combat frigate. Even mighty warriors sometimes need a taxi, yes. Oh, but I might need the scanner for, um, not the economy scanner, the other one, because I probably won't be able to see if it's a dissident system, unless I have that um, other scanner that shows me if there's uh, anything going on. Um, I have an X-Wing here um, from the Twitch rewards but I really didn't want to use that I didn't want to do the uh, Twitch oh it's the wrong one I didn't want to use my Twitch reward for that because I wanted the fighter wings from that um, oh create exotic items from Pixar oh, what? So if I get my rewards, I have, oh, where is it? I thought I had the X-Wing. Oh, it was an expedition reward, sorry. I don't have that one. Did I pick it up and sell it? Is that what I did? No, I only traded this one in. Yeah, so... Yeah, 
I don't know, I thought there was an X-Wing that I had, sorry. It must have been a mistake. Frigate flying in. Let's see if we can get a Viking. Oh, there's loads. Holy shit, that's a big banger. It's like three sets of frigates coming in. Of uh, freighters coming in. look so amazing. They look like fighters, but for some reason they're not. Trade specialist. <laughs> Surely there has to be something like a combat specialist. There we go, combat specialist, nice. Okay, yeah, we take that. Now we can leave. Um, conflict, fractures. Conflict data unavailable. Yeah, that's what we need the conflict scanner for. Yeah, okay. Um, This one is another pirate system. Nice. Let's go there. Get some more nanites. But um, yeah, from from what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my frigate, get the Walker brain, and then I can scan for a conflict state, which means I can I should be able to see then if, the, if, if it's a dissonant uh, system. I think. <gasps> oh, let's do this again. I, I oh yes. So what do we have to do here? Let's do it. Whatever it is we have to do, let's do it. Obviously, we want to destroy the batteries, he said. Holy shit, whatever that was, that was scary. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. It exposes the fuel rod. That is what you were saying. Okay. So let's actually turn around and do the other fuel rods. Do the other side, is it? There's another one. Now. 
There we go, the big boys. Why did I not get it? What happened? No, earlier on you told me, Roy, to do the engines first. So that they can't escape. So you said do the engines, then do the rods, and then go and take out the weapons. And the German was an Irish accent. May I ask how does this come? Oh yeah, uh, I was born in Germany, lived in Germany, and my wife is Irish, uh, so I met her in Germany. So earlier on you said, um, let me see. Proceed with, yeah, proceed with the engines and the shield generators. Oh. Fly into the dreadnought, destroy all the generators, and wait, destroy generator, will expose the fuel rod, destroy those two. I don't know what engines or shield generators look like. Uh, finally destroy the anti-freighter cannons. So I did, the first thing I did was right. Get the generators and the fuel rods so that they can't escape. And then where are the engines and the shield generators? Oh, they're on the back of the ship, yeah. So. Do you do the engines first, is it? Yeah, so I did the shield generator and the rods, so that I don't... Oh, that, that was the shield bubble, so I don't have the shield generator anymore. So, maybe I shouldn't do them first, because if I destroy the shield generator, then whoever the pirates are fighting is... Um, is gonna destroy them. I don't want them destroyed. So I should do the engines first so they can't escape and then do the shield generators. Does that not make more sense? Actually, let's go. Oh, they give up before killed, okay. In this case, though, they got killed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I didn't kill the engines. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's what you said. I love how the pirate station is actually damaged. That, that is really awesome. Yeah, in that case it makes sense, yeah. I love it. So, um, Andy, I don't know if you're still here, but um, if you go, oh yeah, do I get, did I get anything? Um, so this is the guy I'm talking to here and um, where is he here this guy now I don't know if all of them have it but the last one they have a suspicious packet and then they have the suspicious packet tech so they have the suspicious packet goods and tech so you get the tech one you can buy seven so that's like half a million and that's Runaway mold, uh, is that worth it? No, not really. Nah. And then what I do is I open them all. And you see the majority of times they have this, like this one alone is 720 nanites. Yeah, this one. 
uh, band that's what they are the band um, the black market modifications that's what they are and then these ones here they just give you something random um, yeah sure I'll put it in here um, that is fair right okay so and then what I do is I go to my ship Save it and then um, reload it. Yeah, so that's what I do, Andy. Um, and then I then I reload it, and when it reloads, it reloads the stock of the merchant of of the merchant. And if he has seven again, that's random. Sometimes he only has two, um, but sometimes he has the seven again. So in this case, let's see. Oh, did I not reload? How come he... Oh, that should usually work, the reload. I did it in the other station over and over. That's very strange. Let me just do it again. Maybe I reloaded the autosave, I don't know. I could, I could have reloaded the autosave by accident if it happened just after. Restore because I don't think the autosave uh, works. I don't know. Okay, maybe, maybe if it doesn't work all the time. That's very strange because I did do it before. Yeah, there it is again. Now he only has one now. Um, I think they reload over time as well. Actually, I've never used. I've never looked at the arms one. What does the arms one give us? There we go, we got another one. Oh! Ooh, the arms one also does modules. Awesome! Shoot. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so before I reload, let me see what's coming in here in the first wave. Did we get anything fancy coming in? class fighter nice oh solar ships yeah i bought i bought an egg an s class solar ship here in one of those pirate stations in the, in the last one and um, that's the one i bought the um oh actually i don't know i think it's this one no that's critically damaged that's so much that's not it. There, that's the one. So this is an A-class uh, solar ship. I thought it was S-class I bought. It's only A-class. Anyway, the pirate stations, um, they seem to be most of the time where I find the um, sonar. Um, but anyway, so w even if this reload doesn't work all the time, yeah, what you do is you find multiple pirate stations and then you use the, uh, so say you have five, six pirate stations that you, that you have, uh, that you have, yeah. Then you go to the teleporter and you won't be able to teleport anywhere except, um, I think, your bases. No network restricted. Um, so space stations. So um, this one here is a pirate station. Yeah. So what you do then is you go from pirate station to pirate station to pirate station, buy everything, pirate station, buy everything. Buy. And once you did your whole round of your five, six pirate stations, you go back to the first one, save and reload. And because it took you a while anyway to get back, you will most likely have everything reloaded anyway, yeah? But then that way you get like 10, 20 or so. And you can get a lot more in one go very quickly. Ooh, that's the solar ship again. Okay, let's see what you have. 
So I didn't know the arms one was also modules. That's doubly good. I suppose. Yeah, we got two arms and two tech. Nice. There you go. That was awesome. So um, now I just go to this dude and I can sell it all. So there are 707, 300, uh, 300, 300, 386, 387, And that was now um, 5,000 or something. And it took us what? Less than 10 minutes. Um, oh, can I go to my freighter actually from here? And what are these extra options? Other bases, uh, your bases. Where's my freighter? Here. Oh! How come my freighter is clearance not granted? Oh. I can go to my base and then from there I can go to my freighter. And then we can get the conflict scanner and that would allow us then to have the des dissident, whatever you call it, solar system. So hopefully we can see that in the conflict state then. So I'm gonna have to work uh, now between streams what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get loads of salvage data and I'm just gonna keep trading it in at the um, at the merchant guild and then we're gonna be able to buy loads and loads of um, upgrades for the freighter the salvage data so we're gonna be able to unlock next stream pretty much all of the freighter um, upgrades I think or at least loads like I don't know how many do we need every time because all you do is you reload you get one you reload you get one so it's it, you basically can do it until you have a hundred um, but the one we want is the matter beam so we only need five really and then actually yeah we can have both of these unlocked so that only is four so we get ten salvage data at least and we want the warp system as well uh, that's hyperdrive where's the warp drive here warp warp shielding hyperdrive upgrade warp, sh warp injector okay mind control what our oh, frigate upgrade anyway we while we're here we have loads of uh, frigates now so let's see if we can send them onto a mission oh we have to go to the fleet room first yeah sorry Let's go, 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 go. So he was out for... Um, so maybe we got lucky and we got one. So inspect... I estimated our plot rule will take a further... Alteration. What? Why? Why another two hours? It was supposed to be less than an hour. Oh, you suck. Hang on, can I not make another one of those buildings? And now I should be able to have sent out another another one. Yeah, so it was the fleet command room pair mission. So now I can send out another one. Yes. Okay, voyage of discovery, trade, balance, trade. Ugh. Can I somehow refresh them? 
Voyage of Discovery, 20 hours, holy shit. A balanced expedition, so that could be a little bit of everything. What does a voyage give you of discovery? I suppose it will give you knowledge. Tainted vengeance, trade expedition, trade expedition. So, so for this one, it's a difficult rating of two. But balance. Balance means anything, really. Um, exploration, combat, trade, industrial support. So let's send two support ships for that one. That should be enough. It's only a two star, so we, we only need two ships, really, isn't it? Um, okay. Hello there. Um, let's build another one. Oh! Okay. Don't let me interact with it, I guess. Where's the other room gone? It just disappeared. What? What? Am I going crazy? Like, my fleet command room just literally disappeared. This is the third one. Ah, oh, don't tell me they still haven't figured, uh, f fixed all those glitchy frigate things. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna do this and send the rest of the ships. So they get experience at least. Twenty-three. We only uh, how much strengths do we actually need? Um Two ship upgrade, capital ships. Oh, fuel required, 550 tons. Oh, we have to craft some more. Um, Oh, this is 200 tons. Yeah, then we have enough. We have 800 tons then. I was trying to find out how many tons that is. So, does it say actually a number here? It doesn't say a number. It just says it's a three star. And my fleet rating is a one star. So, oh, okay. So, if I do this and this, then my fleet rating is still one star. Oh, shit. I think my other two ships will die. Oh shit. Okay, that's not a good idea. Let's go with a... Um... Oh shit, my ships are gonna die. I didn't see that down there. There we go. That's enough. Get the walker brain. There we go. Get the walker brain. What are you doing, dude? Um, okay. Um,
conflict scanner here as well. Good. So, one of my room... Yeah, there you go. It disappeared again. What is wrong with this game still and glitching out all the time? That is so unbelievable. Oh yeah, when you have everything maxed out, you get like a really nice... Um... Wow, that was crazy. Okay, so can we see now in the, the, all the systems um, state? Um, let me see, so go to a system I haven't been before. Conflict, Dan oh, I visited that already. Pirate controlled, excellent. Um, tranquil. At war. So where do you see if it's dissident? I mean, I have a planet where, where I am, where it is dissident. So opulent, testify, trivial, adequate, let me see. Lawless, declining, pirate controlled, sporadic. Critical fletching. How do you see? So I need a teleporter. Let me, let me just. Uh, station quickly so I have a base in a system where you have the sentence so I, I need to look at that system because I, I, I don't know where I would see that oh shit lots of ships coming out yeah park really far away from everything because there's no free slots This system here, where I have my base, this one, both of them actually in the same system. Um, you see, this doesn't say anything in here. Sentinels Forsaken. Well, so that's the Rosas, the Stellar, the Reeking Planet. Okay, let's just let's see. Um, again, answer to no one. Both of these planets are in the same system. And they have the mirrors there on the planet. Actually, no, only one of them is in the system. Sorry, because the other one I didn't build a base on um, because it was the same ship. So I was like, yeah, I don't care. So I, I'm not sure if I'm actually in the right system now. Crap. Because one of them was in an outpost, in a, in a, in a landing strip. Excellent, yes. So, this one here is in a system that has forsaken sentinels. So, what does that look like on the map? So, see, you can't see any. Oh, dissident. There you go. F one dissonant ah okay that's what that looks like where it says what that's what you meant by where it says water yeah okay that is oh this one is also dissonant but i need an iridium drive so this is awesome i can see that now oh that's really cool so i could theoretically just um whoops an iridium drive need too many good drives oh this one is dissident 
and we can go there. Awesome. So this is a new system now that I could find the Sentinel ship on. And I wonder if it's going to be exactly the same Sentinel ship again. here and see if we have um, reputation with that merchant and what the merchant sells. Always check it. That looks so badass. These stations are amazing looking. This one actually looks really nice. I like the colors. It looks very scary. It's the red. Skills do belong to the mercenary guild. So I maxed out with that. So I can buy all that. Actually, the hearts, yeah, I can buy that. Donate, yeah. Oh, there was a multi-tool plasma launcher. Ah, oh, crap. I don't use that. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a plasma uh, thing for... Uh, shit. I'm gonna have to sell that again. C-class. Ah, oh, little minigun. Oh, we bought it for 200 and it sells for 400. There you go. You can make some uh, nanas and uh, nanites there as well. Awesome. Um. Oh, sorry, my credits. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. Sorry. Is there ever anything on the other side? Um, 39 million and 17,000 nanites, yeah. So. planets in the system have a, have a chance of those mirrors and stuff, or is it only where the sentinels are aggressive? I mean, surely that is unrelated then. Let's just go here and see. Actually, let's go to the sunny side if we can. So we should have no mirrors here on this one. Because the mirrors are a sign that the sentinels are aggressive, I guess. Oh shit, that was close. Um. Oh, okay, cool. Building, straight up. Um. Whoa, what is that? Okay, so we have to go to an aggressive um, system. What is this? Oh, we might have a, a trader here.
data part towards my visor, they're looking for confirmation. Research Corvax Convergence Traveler. A symbol appears, a mysterious diamond shape, it's red central orb, it's like an internal unblinking eye. Sure knowledge of the system. A visible electrical charge processor. Okay, what do I get? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give How much is it worth? It's 300, nice. And we got our standing increase, love it. We need a V2 pass, oh. We have a V1 pass. We need to craft a V2 pass. I can't go through the window, okay. <laughs> Let's go to an aggressive planet. Surely there is one here. Uh, can you? Um... So this one looks like aggressive. So how, how come on? Like if this is a dissonant system and none of the planets have aggressive se sentinels, then that doesn't make sense. Then the system surely isn't dissonant. Okay, so all the systems are perfectly in harmony. And all the planets in the system. So how is the system a dissident system if all the planets are perfectly fine? That makes no sense. Ah, oh, there we go, high sentinel activity. So this might be something, because that would be weird, because isn't the whole point, the whole, I don't know, dissonant, what does that mean? It means uh, there's something going on, obviously, like, yeah, but if all the planets are, what do we have? Ooh, we have. Trader gestures happily, examine cargo manifest. Oh, yes, thank you. Ooh, sweet. That is pretty sweet. Thank you. Let's go to the sunny side. does not mean high central activity the planet itself must be dissonant it means extremely life forms and so on so if the system says dissident but all the planets are not then how can the system be that's what i don't understand i 
don't get that. So if I look here into the discoveries, the system I'm in right now, yeah, has... Oh, wow, there's actually a lot more planets here than, than I thought. Okay, so this is the one that I was on. Hang on, which planet am I'm in right now? Hang on, hang on. Let me just land here for a second. Just scan anything random. I thought I, I, I saw all the cysts. I, th I thought I saw all the cysts. Do a couple of scans here, big boy. Excellent. Okay. Um, so if I go into log, uh, sorry, discovery. That is the planet. What's the system? This is the system. Okay, so in this system we have okay. Okay. I only I scanned a few more planets, but I scanned these two as far as I know. But I unless I land there. So one of them surely has to be a planet that we can find a sentinel ship on. What do you mean the cockpit view? Oh, because you can see the planets. Oh, I see. So this one we know. This one we know. So these two planets are... Which planet am I looking at? The red one is this one. So how come I'm here, but I can see two planets in front of me like that? That makes no sense. It must be these two planets I'm looking at, and this one is that one. So, oh, which, sorry, which one is that? That is Omega, DC, and Onsha. Onsha, okay, so there's two more planets. Besides them, one here. Uh, oh my god. Oh, there's one. Dissonance detected. Nice. So I thought when you have the system, it means all the planets in it have that. So that's good. That's good. Crap is this far away. This is a long ass journey just to this planet. Holy crap. And we're actually really fast. It's an Epeen. <laughs> the Epeen planet. Um, no. Well, I wouldn't directly translate it, but a buttmunch is an idiot. You call someone a buttmunch just because they are moron, as far as I know. It's not because they actually munch butts, it's because they are just very low on the tier of things. Um, I have a sentinel ship uh, in the moment, but it's a very, it's a small one and all the planets I found so far, these type of ship, they, they had the same type of ship, which was very annoying. So
So I'm hoping to find a different Sentinel ship on this one. First I have to see if they also have mirrors here. put a little base near some mirrors if possible oh that's just radiant shots here we need a few of them as well oh I can probably do this oh I can't mine anymore with that okay yeah that sucks I think there's a mirror here is there yeah Good, okay. So, oh, this mirror has a, oof, has a big boy there, but that's fine. Let's just land somewhere here. Hang on, hang on. Let's land here. Okay, good. Now, let's uh, put a base thing down here somewhere. friend where's the mirror we just flew past the mirror Where is it? there's the mirror no huh? there was a mirror here somewhere where the bloody hell is it now we were right beside it Oh my god, this is annoying. Where's, where's that stupid mirror? We're literally right beside it. Okay, fine, whatever. Screw you, don't care. We're gonna find another one. That's just so annoying, because it, there literally was one right here. Thank you. 
Oh, hello. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes. I need loads of that. Anyway, um, let me see. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Where is the bloody mirrors? This, this is the only planet of Sentinels without any mirrors. So how am I supposed to get the echoes if they don't have any bloody mirrors? That is just so enormously moronic. There's a station here. All of these planets that are dissident, they have to have mirrors on them. Like, isn't that the whole point while the planet is a dissident planet? I've never seen this on, well, on the two planets. I've seen this. I have... Hmm, trade terminal? It's one of those, is it? I have just never seen it, that there was no mirrors. Usually the first thing I see is a bloody mirror when I, when I get close to a planet like that. And they always show up on the map. This is just crazy. Oh, that's where I was already. Yeah. Oh, they don't always scan because on the last uh, two planets I was, they scanned every single time. Okay, that's good to know. Ow, tree. Usually you can see them here. Yeah. So wherever the sentinels are, usually there's the mirrors. Um, what is moving there? There's something moving there. There's a light. Crazy. Oh, there, finally. The resonator, that's what it's called, sorry. These, these planets are like so annoying to traverse. <laughs> yeah, you can't even punch run really fast. You always hit something. Would you stop getting stuck on little shitty stones? Like, you're not four. Like, you're a bloody grown person that can walk and step over a little rock. Come on. Where is it gone? Where, where is it gone? Oh, there.
Ah, god damn it. They can fucking glitch through the ground, these asshats. Okay, they're gone now. Yeah, this is why I don't like the ones that have the big boys, because the big boys, they can glitch into the ground and hit you, which is so annoying. So what did I get? Um, okay, I didn't get a... Um, it's fine, so let's see if we can... Usually you find one, you find the next one. There we go. Right here in front of me, okay. Yeah, these guys are oh, this. I got an echolocator. Nice. Good. That's it. Done. Whew. Okay, let's get my ship. Um, yeah, I have I have those uh, I have one of those flying animals as a companion. I think yeah, I just have I, I, I did when I got them. I think I don't think I, now in this session in this um, stream series I haven't uh, yet because I haven't made the the leash yet and all that. So I didn't want to have it die basically. Okay, very lucky we got the. Oh, where is it? We got an echolocator. Where the hell is it? I saw it saying the echolocator. Oh, there. Oh, give me a bloody heart attack. Why do I have a gap there? Why do I have the gap there? That's, no, not cool. Don't have a gap there, dude. Don't have gaps. That's how you confuse things when you have gaps for no reason. So let's see if we get the same ship again. First we go to the camp now. Ah don't fly just hit every mountain on the way there.
tainted metal? What? Yes, expi- Oh, look at that. We got a exosuit expansion unit. Nice. Oh, it's these stupid creatures that are stuck here all the time. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, that one looks amazing. That is actually a, a much diff. Oh, this is like a, a shotgun. Oh, I, man, I have a good feeling about this. If the if the difference in multi tool is any indication on the ship, then we might get a different ship. Okay, what do we have? Five, ten, sixteen. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the, uh, the hovering of the ship is awesome. I like that. Destinous spike coordinates. You guys are annoying and so loud. Very creepy noise. Ooh, let's get this boy. Ooh. And it's an A-class as well. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love everything about it. So that means the we can basically get rid of the stinger then because that was the cheapish version here. Nice. I love that multigun, yeah. That will be my um, my damage one where we gotta put all the, the scatter stuff and upgrades in. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go back up into the orbit. Why can't you do that stupid engine? You're so annoying. And now I'm there, it doesn't matter. Annoying. I was well above orbit. Oh, please let it be. If it, like the, the, the last time I had the same ship, I had always the same multi-tool. This is the first time I had a really different multi-tool, so... Oh, it is a different ship! <gasps> oh, it is! So if the multi-tool is different, the ship is different? I like it. What is that? Ooh. Look at you. Nice. It's a C-class again, but that's fine. No, don't delete it. Uh, take it. Take the ship. Take it to the ship. Take that in my suit, and this can be repaired with the harmonic brain. Oh man, what a sexy looking ship! Oh, is there anything around actually to pick up? Anyway, um, we have to go and do this.
Um, and just to be cheeky, I saw another mirror here, I think. Hang on a second. So I came out of my ship, we landed here, and there was a mirror here somewhere. Oh, it was it wasn't a mirror. It was one of those machines. Okay. I thought it was uh, one of those resonators, and I was like, "Oh, let's be cheeky and see if we get another echo." That would have been pretty sweet. Yeah, there's no. I I thought I saw a resonator for some reason. Oh, there is one right here. Always quickly check it out, you know. Um, what am I looking for? This. as well. Oh wow, there's one of those big boys there that could completely destroy us. Oh, don't get greedy, greedy, I don't know. You have to be very deep down. Okay. Can you run? Oh my god, this this bastard. I can't and I can't kill him actually because he's he's definitely gonna out damage me and he out heals everything, so No, we got an inverted mirror. Let's hope he can't come in here. Oh, we're in a cave. Ooh. Nice. Let's just hide here. Nice. I know. Where's my ship? Ah, balls. I thought maybe we get lucky and I get another echo. You know, it was on the way. So let's go back to the ship. Meep, meep. A communication tower as well. Oh, look at the cargo hold. Very nice. That is really awesome. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna keep this. So, I hate having limited ships. Uh, ships. Starship trade-in bonus authenticated. What does that mean? Starship trade-in bonus. Let's claim ship. No.
Let's have a good look at you. Let's put the light over here. Nice. You ate and took a nap, and you missed us having an amazing ship. the hell whatever that was that was awesome anyway what I wanted to do was this I like it. It's a nice. I love the, that the Sentinel ships have that light going around. That's pretty awesome. I want Asteroid as at a time destroying the universe. Yes. No, I just want to see the guns on the ship, you know. Um, you know? I think we nearly have our exosuit cargo full. So let's actually have a look at the ship upgrades. I mean, I think we can buy them all now. Okay. Thank you very much for letting me buy something. We already have them all unlocked, actually. <laughs> yeah. So... I just need uh, the modules. Can Is there a station here, actually? Array. So. What do we need? I need we need seventy thousand nanites, isn't it, to upgrade the ship by a class purchase storage upgrade class ten thousand nanites. Sure. So now I have two B classes. So Flameborn. That's actually a cool name. We're gonna leave it Flameborn. And we can just see what weapon system would be good on the ship. Fragment supercharger. Is that the shotgun? Is, is is that the shotgun weapon? The positron ejector. 
No, actually, I want the infra knife. I want that one. But yeah, we need um, phosphorus for that. That's right. Where's phosphorus? We need phosphorus. Can we buy phosphorus here? Ah, we can't. Pity. Usually you can buy phosphorus, um, well, sometimes you can buy phosphorus from pilots. Um, they have a high, they have a good chance actually of randomly being able to sell phosphorus, but I don't know if that depends on the system or it's just completely random. Mm, this one is paraffinium. A dioxide, I actually have to buy that as well because dioxide is like phosphorus. You either, it's a pain in the ass to fight them, I think. Might as well get all Aslov's kit in space. Yeah, exactly, kit. What do you have? Ah, there we go. Look at that. Okay. Let's buy some pyrite as well and uranium. Because these are all things I don't have yet access to. Quickly do this. Oh. So now I'm gonna have to make a decision at some point. Do I want to keep the one I I have? What do I want to keep? Butt munch? Or wanna do I want to keep uh, flameborn? Because I only have six ships or nine ships I can keep. <sighs> No, and so do I keep this one or the other one? Oh, I thought the ships would stay here. So do I keep this one or do I keep this one? What is all the other ships I have? I have Batmanch, Kashi Transport. Oh yeah, it's a boy chain. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this other one. Um, so this is the custom one I built. Yeah, so this is the one I built. Out of custom parts i'm actually gonna sell this one um because I'm, i want to build a, a proper custom fighter at some point like in a real nice high class s class one so let's sell this one Uh, this is my starter ship. I'm also going to sell this one, actually. Um, let me see. Ship. this one Oh yeah, that key. I don't. I'm not going to use this key forever. Um, tainted metal. What can I use tainted metal for? Can I do something with it? Oh, nice. Oh, oh sweet. Also, let's quickly sell the. Okay. That is nice. It's 
kind of invisible there, but okay. You brought this uh, totally stupid, but hey, who cares? No, but it, it's it's S-Class, it's a fighter ship, so it has good damage, so why wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely, that makes sense. Okay, so... We sell that. Oh, nice! It automatically selected the destroyed starship. No, it didn't. Oh, okay. I thought it was doing it. Okay. A-class fighter. Oof. That looks nice. Very nice. Do you have any more phosphorus? Whatever it's called. Let's get the cobalt. Nice, you have all these resources I know I'm not gonna get my hands on. refiner we need ionized cobalt can I not just put cobalt in here and it becomes ionized Let's see um, where's my cobalt yeah By two of those. Oh, okay. Yes, there. Two. And I think I have the other ones in my other ship. Let's see. Oh, I have them in my. In my oh, I have them in storage. Let's go to my freighter here for a second. Before we go, let's quickly check our dude over here and see what guilt he's from. Excellent, mercenary guild. Um, oof. Yeah, I wonder, look at this. So this costs 127 and this costs 207. And I think they both sell for more. Yeah, 296, 482. Very nice. Pure profit. Okay, so let's go to the freighter. Uh, 
Um, by the way, the scanner in the Freddy is priceless. On, one click on all planets. Yeah, I can't wait to have that upgraded. I'm really... Uh, we have to get one of the guilds um, leveled up to, to Exalted with salvage data. And once we have that, we can buy freighter salvage data. It's gonna be amazing. Um, where is my... Oh, I should be able to access my storage now here, should I not? No, it's... That is terrible. What happened to my other two command... Oh, look, now they're here. Excellent. Storage. Yes, I have two exactly. Very nice. Okay, um... How come I can't... Oh. I need another quantum computer. Ah, shit. Ah, of course I don't have one. Ah, bollocks. I need a third one. <sighs> that is so annoying. Oh, I could craft one. Okay, I didn't even know I can craft them. Awesome. So, what happens? Can oh, I have to uninstall the personal refiner? Okay. So, how is this better? <gasps> oh, you sexy beast. Oh, you beauty. So now we can do oxy oxygen infused stuff. So I think when you put oxygen in something, and then I don't know if it works with all of them, no, it doesn't work with that. And um, what's this? Look, fungal mold. That is so great now. You get these weird recipes now. That is awesome. Frost crystals, yes. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. And with other things, you can, I think, double them nearly. So if you do oxygen and what is the other thing? Oxygen and um, cobalt. Ionized cobalt or cobalt. Yeah, you see the way this is 118. This is now 220. This is amazing. So, if you put 10 in, let me see, you get 60. Oh, that is so beautiful. So, now you just get a lot of oxygen and um, ionized cobalt. And ionized cobalt, you can then crash the mark. Oh, yeah, that is going to be amazing. So, what you can do is you can create tons and tons of ionized cobalt now with oxygen you can buy oxygen at one of the trade outposts reload by reload by anyway it doesn't matter you can also collect it yeah it's easy to collect the oxygen and then you can crash the market by selling all the ionized cobalt once you crash the market you buy all the ionized cobalt back as cheap as possible like all of it and um, then you're gonna go to the station um, yeah then you go to the station the space station and sell it all because the space station doesn't get impacted by the uh, planets uh, planetary price oh man that is that is good money making that's awesome I love everything about this This is my Sputnik. Where's all my other ships? Where's my broken ship? 
Aren't all my ships supposed to be here? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, so I have my, my solar ship and the wrecked ship. This is a C-class fighter. Can we, can we build a portal inside here? Oh. Can we build a portal? Uh, we must probably we can unlock it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, I have to check out how to do the crash of the global economy again because one of my um, one of my out base base things I built exactly in an in a, in a trade center on a planet for that reason. Uh, <laughs> so that I can build big refiners and just duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Just have continuously uh, something being duplicated. And, um, well, not glitchy, but like infused with uh, oxygen. So this goes all back inside the ship. Okay, good. Yeah, I think we can leave it here. So I'm gonna have to go and um, planet side. We're going to look at. Um, yeah, I'm gonna between this stream and the next stream, I'm gonna get the guys to exalt it um with the salvage data then i'm gonna go and prepare for that so that we can get the the freighter salvage data so i'm gonna keep buying that every time i get there and uh, then next time we should be able to get the freighter to a state where we have the matter beam and we're going to be able to put our all our resources in the different containers in the different storage containers and then we don't have to worry about carrying all that crap with us because we can just summon our freighter so we're gonna be able to do that. That would be really good. Um, I have to go now as well. Thank you so much um, for being here, for watching. Very much appreciated. And if you have any ideas what you actually want to do, like, yeah, because this is very open world, like, in that sense, we can do whatever we want. I'm just kind of using the, um, the, the logs here as a kind of guidance and we do a little bit from our base. We still have to find a nice planet to build a big base. Then um, we also want, um, to do the settlement at some point but i think we should focus a little bit on our freighter next time maybe and um then try to do more base stuff i don't know i'm not really sure um and then actually we should focus as well on getting our ship 
fully upgraded with all the different type of drives, the cadmium, the emerald, the copper, and that is what we need. Um, yeah, so okay, uh, and I talked myself into it now. Industrial surveying. We're going to unlock the electromagnetic generator. We're gonna do this, and that will allow us then to get all the different resources together for the different drives where we need cadmium, emerald, whatever it's called. So that's probably what we should do. Rule the universe, yes. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the way out, I would very much appreciate it. And I see you guys tomorrow. I, it will be pretty much enshrouded and No Man's Sky until I think the 10th of April we have a game coming out. And on the 18th of April, we're gonna have uh, No Rest for the Wicked coming out. So, um, but it will be basically enshrouded in No Man's Sky um, until then, uh, until we have the next game. So thank you very much. Have a good night and stay safe. Bye-bye.